Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I just want to show you how to list out all the uh, supported language that can be used uh, for the translation API in Python. So here, uh, let me show you the page that lists out all the uh, supported language that can be used uh, with the uh, translation API. In general, you can just come to this page and look for the uh, language key. But it's a better way to get all the supported language lists. Now open your Python editor or uh, your development environment. And here I already have a, a Python script that I created. So here, uh, let's go ahead and uh, import a google.cloud uh, module. And from the cloud module, we need to import the uh, translate class. And next, I'm going to import the pandas module. And this is purely optional. By using the pandas data frame, it's going to make your output look a lot more clean. And so here, let's go ahead and create our translate client instance. So here, I'm going to name the output as result variable. It should result should be fine. Um, so using the translate client instance, this method called get underscore languages. And so by just running this line right here. That's going to return all the supported languages that can be used with the Google Translation API. And next, I'm going to create a data frame. Uh, so here I'm going to name the uh, data frame language uh, list. And using the pandas data frame uh, method, I'll just pass the result variable. And lastly, I'll print the language list. Now, if we run the script, So right here, I got this error message. Um, could not automatically determine the credential. So I forgot to create my Google application credential environment uh, variable. So here, let me go to the uh, the script that we created uh, during our last video. And I'll just grab this line right here. And I'll copy and paste over to my uh, supported language uh, Python script. Now let's run the uh, script again. And here I get uh, OS is not defined. So here I need to import the OS module. And that should be it. So now let's try one more time. All right, now let's just take a look. So here's all the uh, supported language with the, uh, the name and the uh, language code. And if we scroll down, we can see that. Uh, so uh, with the Google Translation API, there are 104 uh, supported language. And yeah, so this is pretty much it. For the next video, I'll show you how to use the Google Translation API to detect the input language.